I think all of you know and have worked with the VS Code Editor. Over the past few years, it has firmly taken the lead among developers, becoming almost a standard. However, it has a number of drawbacks, and some of them it's unlikely to ever hit rid of. At the same time, a few years ago, a new editor appeared, one I simply couldn't ignore. It's called Zed. I first tried it two years ago, back in 2023, when it was still in closed beta. And since then, I've been using it as one of my main editors. Today, I'll tell you why I love Zed so much, and why I haven't even launched VS Code for the past six months. Hi everyone, my name is Nick, and I've been developing software for 20 years. On this channel, I share my experience, observations, and thoughts about the IT world. So, VS Code and Zed. But before I dive into comparing them directly, I want to make a short detour, so you understand the context in which I'm looking at these editors. The thing is, I constantly use not just one, but several code editors. Why that is, that's a separate story, and I'll talk about it in another video. For now, what matters is that until recently, my main editors were NeoVim, Emacs, and VS Code, and occasionally Sublime Text as well. In this lineup, VS Code served as my IDE, meaning I saw and used it as an editor that not only highlights syntax in a code file, but also provides additional information about objects, functions, and modules, along with their documentation. And all of that worked straight out of the book. At most, you'd need to install a small extension. Everything was fine until I started noticing that VS Code was getting slower and slower, especially on large code bases. This sluggishness became particularly noticeable when I switched from NeoVim to VS Code. It almost felt like it wasn't responding to my commands at all. And that's when Zed came into play. It had already come out of beta and gained new features. I decided to try replacing VS Code with it, and I've never regretted that decision. The first thing that amazed me about Zed was its speed. I got all the IDE capabilities I used in VS Code, but they worked about 10 times faster. And that's not all. The interface itself feels incredibly responsive. Every interaction with the app happens almost instantly. It's a completely different level for a desktop application. It's hard to describe in words or even show on video. You really have to try it yourself to feel that speed and responsiveness. By the way, this super speed isn't just because Zed is written in Rust. It also comes from GPU rendering. Zed uses your graphics processor directly for rendering its interface, which provides higher performance and reliability. It's somewhat similar to how 3D games are built, and it allows Zed to leverage multi-threading and make full use of multiple CPU cores. The second reason, after speed, why I switched from VS Code to Zed is the clean and minimalist interface. I'll say right away, that this is a very subjective criterion. It matters a lot to me, but others might not even notice it. Here's what I mean. When I look at Zed, I see the project and the code. Nothing distracts me. The interface looks neat and uncluttered. But when I turn my eyes to VS Code, it just looks awful to me. So many distracting elements, unnecessary interface parts, illogical spacing, oversized paddings, and so on. Even if you close the project tree, the VS Code interface still looks messy to me. Again, this is purely subjective. Some people might actually like that kind of layout, but not me. And the third reason why I choose Zed over VS Code is AI. The thing is, Zed offers advanced yet very convenient AI features built right into the editor. I actually have a separate video about this. Be sure to check it out. In my opinion, at this point, Zed is not only the fastest AI-powered editor, but also the one where AI features are implemented in the most intuitive and efficient way. Zed allows you to connect almost any LLM provider and interact with it directly inside the editor. Unlike Cursor, which is essentially a clone of VS Code, Zed provides direct and transparent access to AI provider. Cursor, on the other hand, hides this communication behind its own algorithms, which, in my opinion, only make things worse and often sneak in cheap models at the most inconvenient moment. Let's sum it up. At this point, the choice between VS Code and Zed is obvious to me. I choose Zed for three main reasons. Speed, clean interface, and AI capabilities. But that's my personal choice and perspective. Some people can't live without the thousands of plugins available for VS Code. Others might not be bothered by its slower performance. It all depends on the person and their workflow. I've shared the criteria behind my decision, but I hope they'll help you make your own. 
Alright, that's it for today. I've shared with you the criteria behind my choice between VS Code and Z, and I hope they'll help you make your own decision as well. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. See you soon. Take care.